What is that? A little black sky with some dust in it or whatever. It's Josh here with the Pride Productions. We got a second UE4 audio tutorial today in the UE4. We did tutorial number one a couple days ago. We talked about attenuation with sounds. Today we're going to talk about modulating and randomizing. And, and then this guy. But seriously, we're going to take our audio and we're going to do some cool stuff with it. If I, uh, I'm already F11, but if I uh, Alt P, I got this guy. He's running around. You know what I'm talking about? Just like last time, third person. F11, we're going to create a coin today. We're going to create a coin. We're going to create a little blueprint real, real, real quick. Right click, blueprint class, actor. Well, not actor. We're going to name a coin. Okay, we're going to jump right into it like this. Real quick, make a coin. I'm going to show you how to do some cool sound stuff with this coin. Now, we'll make it real simple, okay? We're in the components tab here. Add a component, static mesh, just like last time. Except I'm going to name it coin because it's, it's, it's going to be a ball, but I'm going to make it into a coin. I actually go to the static mesh, uh, just like the last tutorial again, type in the word shape, and we'll drag down, go down to the, the uh, shape sphere. You got, a, you got a ball? But the thing is, I'm going to go to the scale here, make sure it's unlocked right here, make sure it's unlocked, and go to the, go to the, go to the, uh, the X here and set it to point one. got a little flat ball. Okay, you don't want to play basketball with that. Golf. Okay, so I'm going to save that, toolbar, compile. Now, the thing is, I don't like the material, and I should have dragged this over because you know how I do, but I, but, I, but I didn't. But anyway, the point is, you got everything we're doing over here in the content browser. If I got the coin selected and I go over to the material, and I click this magnifying glass, boom, it'll send me back over here and show me where it is in the folder under materials here, because I got the starter content. Well, I'm gonna grab this little silver one right here. And the reason I am is because, you know, it's kind of prettier, and it gives me like a little silver coin, you know what I'm talking about? So I got a little, little silver coin now, and I can compile. And uh, the only other thing we'll do, I think seriously, go to the event graph, and I, I got an event tick already down there, so we're gonna use that. I'm gonna do something really simple. We're gonna make sure, compile again, because I keep compiling, because I ain't scared to compile. I'm gonna grab the coin, even though it's a capital C and a capital O, because I'm not scared. That's why I did that, because I'm not. Now, the point is, I, I want to do something really cool here. I want the coin to rotate, and that's why I'm going to use the event tick. So I'm going to drag a line off this thing and type in add local rotation. Now, what that means is every tick, it's going to add a simple small rotation on what axis? I'm going to do the Z, because I want it to kind of spin on the Z, kind of like a ballerina or something like that. Let's go back to toolbar, compile, and let's, uh, let's just drag it in here and see if it works. That's all the code we got. Literally just every tick rotate a little bit. Make, I want my coin to rotate, okay? So I'll go back to the DP, because that's where we made the coin, right? And let's grab this bad baby in here and drag one right here and put another one right here. Holding an Alt and clicking and just dragging a couple of them here. Boom, here we go. I F11, Alt, P. And I got a couple spinning coins here. They're spinning around all the same speed, which is kind of generic. But, you know, just for the, for the fun of this tutorial, now we're ready to get started on our sound. You know what I'm talking about? So there we go. Now, what we want is we want to be able to walk through this coin and collect it. So it disappear. F11, Alt, P, get back into the coin real quick. It disappear, and it play a sound. So, so let's do one more thing in this blueprint before we jump back over. Go back to add a component and scroll all the way down to box collision. Now, get back, get back in the viewport here, bro. Now, let's drag this bad baby up to where it's right even with, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, right there. And I'm going to go, I'm going to lock the scale. Okay, I'm going to set it to 1.5. Uh-huh. So if we walk into this, we needed to do stuff. So check it out. We got to tell it real quick. We got to go back to the event graph. Okay, toolbar compile, because I'm scared. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared. Okay, back to the components, grab the box. Don't grab it. Right click on it. Don't grab it. You don't grab everything. Right click, add event. Add on component begin overlap. That's it. I'm literally just going to say if it overlaps with this actor, which actor? Us. Now, in this in this in the third person in the third person blueprint project, we are third person character. So we need to cast to third person character. So basically, if it's this character, if to ask if it's fail, but if it is, literally just destroy actor. If you can spell it, you got to be you got to be able to spell it, okay? You got to be able to spell it. Destroy actor. And boom, there we go. So now we got this. It's rotating. If I overlap the box, it destroys the actor. If it's us. If, and we are the third person character. So if you're using your own character, you got to make sure you cast to that. One more quick test. F11 and Alt P. And if I walk over this thing, boom. I'm taking the coins in because they're mine. You know what I'm talking about? Now we can finally get on with the sound, guys. Okay, so check it out. Now that we got our blueprint set up, let's talk about some sound. Now, I got these five sounds here. Check them out. Okay, a little retro, especially that last one. A little bit of that one too, bruh. Now, we need to create a sound cue. Now, last time we right-clicked and created a cue, but this time we're going to do it a little differently. You can just go to sounds, right-click, go to sounds, and create a cue right here. And I'm going to name it coin. 
underscore audio son if i spelled that right i hope so now if we double click on our coin audio which oh my gosh i i i, I did another capital c and o because i'm i'm not scared guys anyway the point is you double click you jump in here what we can do now is now that it's in our third tab because ue4 knows how we do i can hold oh oh god oh god i can click the bottom hold hold ctr i got all five of them drag them over here and drop them suckers in there i got all five of them okay and what's cool now is you obviously just let's let's plug one in let's just let's plug one in and hit the sound here okay we can every now that now that this is selected the output is selected it's got the little yellow box around it every time i press play cool plays the sound and if i plug another one in obviously it's gonna it's gonna play that sound but we need to be able to play all of them we need, we need to be we need to be able to do more than that okay yeah all kind of retro so let's right click over here in the blueprints and type in modulator you see that bad baby right there? Let's just plug this thing into the modulator and then plug the modulator into that right there. Now, here's the thing with the modulator does is when it's selected, you can kind of see. It's kind of changing the volume a little bit, randomizing the volume and randomizing the pitch. Well, I want the volume to be the same every time, one and one, but this is the pitch. Let's just see what it does right now with it being 0.95 and 1.05. Okay, okay. I can get real down dirty with it, 0.5 and 1.5. That, that's, out, that's out of control, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a 0.8 and a 1.2. Because I think I like that, bruh. I like it. All kind of different coin sounds. That's pretty cool, right? Because now I could, I could take this third one here and plug it into it. Get the same, same effect. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Or I can plug this one in. Yeah, I got all, I got all kind of sounds. Now the thing is, we, we could have five modulators and have them all modulated, but there's an easier way to do this. Check it out. We're going to drag all these back, okay? I'm just unplug this bad baby and move it over here. I want you to right-click now and type in the word random. Oh, you know what's happening. You know what's already happening. I'm, I'm getting a little too far away, bro. Let's plug random into the output, okay? Oh, if, if you can plug it in there. Now, let's plug number one in here, this first one I got, and let's plug the second one in here. Now, if we press play now, oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at it. It's just, it's, ha oh, well, it's not working. Honestly, it is working, but play note isn't lit up because there's no notes selected. Make sure you select the output. Anyway, it's going back and forth, but we can add a pin and plug that bad baby in and do it again. You know what I'm talking about already, bro. Just plug all five of them in there and get five of them. Now it's randomizing all five of those sounds. Every time I click, bro, I just got a different sound. I'll kind of, it's out of control. And you know what we're going to do now? You know what we're going to do? We're going to take this modulator we created with the, the point. We're, we're going to take whatever it decides, then modulate that. So we're not going to have to have five modulators. Nah, man, just a random a modulator. Make sure your chain of commands is correct, man. That's what it's all about. And now every, I'm going to save it because we're done. I can literally just click this, and every time it's going to be something absolutely random. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm playing something really old. But anyway, the point is, you know, that we, we took five sounds, randomized them, and then modulated that, at the, the effect of whatever one it picked, then modulate that. So there's so many, uh, dude, there's a lot of lot of random sounds going here. Some of them are a little um, some are a little uh, similar, but they're, they're, they're very different. And now we're literally going to go back into our coin, right? I just jumped back over here. Now, here's the thing. We could go to components like we did last time, add a component, audio, boom. But instead, if we're destroying the actor, the audio is going to go with it. So we're going to do it a little different this time. And you, you could do it different ways. You could just destroy the coin component or whatever. But we're going to do it like this. We're going to just right click right here and talk or, or type in play sound at location. So let's hold alt and click that and plug it into this bad baby. And then this into that bad baby. Now you can drag this down and get all kind of stuff. But we're not going to toy with it. Okay, we're not going to toy with the, the pitch and the volume. You could though. It's fun. But we, got, we're gonna, we need to select our sound and select our location. The sound is easy. We can just go over here back into here because we got these three windows the way we set it up. Go over here to coin. Drop it in here. There she blows, son. It's capital C, capital O, because we ain't scared. And then the location is just literally going to be get actor location, if you can spell that. You, you you got it. Get actor location. And that's the location of the coin itself. And now if I toolbar and compile and I go back into my world and I create all kinds of these coins, you know what I do? I select all four of them. You know Hold alt, get a bunch more right there, and a bunch more right here, and drag them up and just, just keep on copying and pasting them. They're everywhere now, son. I got all kind of them. One more time. One more time, because we got all, because we got all kind of them and then boom we got coins i f11 i all p i'm in the game and we got all kind of these rotating coins right let's see what happens if i run through them oh that's what i'm talking about huh you like you like what we're doing here huh little audio 
little audio randomness for you. Exit, alt, alt P again, because I like running through these right here a little fast. A little getting down with it, bro. You got to get down with sound. You know what I'm talking about? Get down. But anyway, the point is, guys, thanks for watching. The Prior Productions, hit up that YouTube channel, man. Now hit us up, like the Facebook page. Hope you learned a little something about modulating and randomizing your sound, and of course, how to hook them into your blueprint a different way, not just a component, but a free way of doing it. Just play sound at location and set it up. So experiment with both of those. It depends on what you're doing, which one's necessary. But guys, again, thanks for thanks for watching. The Prior Productions UE4 audio tutorial number two is a success. We win. I hope you learned a little something. If not, I'm sorry. But if but if you did, that's freaking awesome. Hit me up if you have any questions. I'll be back in a couple days with another tutorial. But but again, man, hit us up. If you have any questions, hit me up personally if you have any questions. Get on the channel. Invite your friends. Tell your tell your mom. I don't care. Get on here and have some fun. Learn some stuff and listen to some awesome music by Deprive. You know what I'm talking about? I'll see you guys soon. Peace.